we extend a very hearty welcome to the president of india shri pranam mukherjee and the dignitaries janagana manaya dhinayaka jaya he bharat bhagya vidhata punjab sindh gujarat maratha dravid yutkal banga bind himachal yamuna ganga uchhal jal dhitaranga तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे respected uh, president of india respected vice president respected prime minister mr anil goswami secretary of home sri ashok sajanhar the chairman of the uh, committee uh, the former governors leaders of the political parties the ministers present the officers of the ministry of home affairs officers of national foundation for the communal harmony their partners stakeholders and supporters distinguished guests and ladies and gentlemen i feel deeply privileged uh, to welcome you this function organized to present the national communal harmony award for 2011 and 2012 I am profoundly grateful to the President of India for graciously agreeing to present these awards. I express warm welcome to the Honorable Vice President and the Honorable Prime Minister for gracing this function. The National Foundation for Communal Harmony was established in 1992 to promote communal harmony and strengthen national integration. The foundation extends financial support to the child victims of communal, caste, ethnic or terrorist violence for their care, rehabilitation and education. The foundation instituted the National Communal Harmony Awards in 1996 to honor outstanding contributions of individuals and organizations to further the cause of communal harmony and national integration the award recognizes the important and useful work done by individuals and organization to spread the message of peace love goodwill and universal brotherhood for promoting harmony in the society and strengthening national integration <coughs> as we all know We are a nation of diverse culture, language, religions. In spite of this diversity, the invisible but all pervasive thread of being Indian keeps us united. It is therefore our foremost duty to keep this torch of unity shining bright, shining bright under all circumstances. The tradition of communal harmony, tolerance. mutual respect have always been the distinguishing features of our civilization and polity polity this tradition continues even today indeed democracy can prosper and flourish only with strict adherence to secularism i personally feel that the noblest of all religions is the religion of humanity i convey my warmest Congratulations and greetings to all the awardees. The awardees have set examples by their commitment, dedication, and devotion to foster communal harmony and promote peaceful coexistence. Their work in the promotion of social cohesion is exemplary and inspiring. I am sure that these awardees will continue to work with more enthusiasm and zeal. 
towards strengthening communal harmony, compassion, and peaceful coexistence. <coughs> Let us celebrate the occasion today as a festival of love, peace, tolerance for all inclusive development or nation. Every citizen of our country has a right to live with his or her individual faith, yet keep the identity of being Indian supreme and above all other consideration. Let us pledge to uphold this right. I am delighted to see the August gathering of eminent citizens. I am deeply grateful to all of you for accepting our invitation and joining us to acknowledge and applaud and commend the achievements of today's awardees. It gives me great pleasure to extend a warm welcome to all of you. Thank you. Jai Hind. Respected Rashtrapati ji, respected Vice President Hamid Ansari Sahib, Shri S.K. Shinde, Home Minister, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we've gathered here today to honor two outstanding individuals and an outstanding organization for their contribution to the cause of communal harmony and national integration. Let me begin by congratulating Shri Khamleana, Shri Muhammad Abdul Bari, and the Foundation for Amity and Solidarity for receiving the National Communal Harmony Award. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we meet today in the backdrop of heightened communal tensions in some parts of our country. These are very sad developments which should make us all reflect on our individual and collective obligations to promote goodwill and amity in our polity and society. We belong to a country which is characterized by great diversity. It is also a country with a very proud legacy of tolerance and respect for ways of thinking other than one's own. India is a land where diverse religions have flourished together for centuries and have enriched each other. We as a people have an overall secular outlook and I believe that it is only a very small group of people that is responsible for creating divisions amongst us. I also believe that it is the solemn duty of each one of us to resist these forces. Let me take this opportunity to reaffirm the commitment of the central government to make every possible effort to promote communal harmony and national integration in our country. We have called a meeting of the National Integration Council on 23rd September to explore ways and means for achieving these ends. The two individuals whom we are honoring today have done exemplary work which makes all of us proud. Shri Kamliana's contribution to strengthening cohesiveness and goodwill in our society covers a diverse range of areas, rehabilitation of drug addicts, prevention of AIDS, cultural exchange programs to promote national integration and unity, resource mobilization for orphanages and rescue homes and so on. He and his organization, Mizoram Youth Club, are shining examples of committed service to the society and their extraordinary leadership inspires all of us. Shri Muhammad Abdul Bari's career 
is another example of selfless service to the people. He has worked to successfully prevent potential disturbances in his district Bhadra and to contain them when they had occurred. His contribution covers other areas also, including blood donation activities, education, and health. Shri Bari commands the respect of both Hindus and Muslims for his leadership and social activism. Ladies and gentlemen, the foundation of enmity and national solidarity has now worked for 28 years for promoting communal harmony and national integration. It achieves these objectives through a variety of activities and the involvement of the youth and students. Its activities also include the dissemination of the message of peace, harmony, and amity through the print and electronic media. The foundation has done admirable work and, the true, and truly deserves this award. Let me end by also commending the work of the National Foundation for Communal Harmony, which was instituted, which has instituted these awards. I believe that it has truly achieved the objective with which it was set up by the government of India in 1992. It gives me happiness that through today's awards, we have been able to know about the work of Shri Kamliana, Shri Bari, and the Foundation for Amity and National Solidarity. We need more individuals and organizations like them. I once again congratulate them and wish them all success in the future. I thank you and Jai Hind. Respected Rashpati Ji, Respected Pradhan Mantri Ji, Sushil Kumar Shinde Ji, distinguished award winners, dignitaries and distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am happy to be here today to join Rashpati Ji and Pradhan Mantri Ji on this important national occasion. I congratulate the award winners, their grit and determination in promoting the noble ideals of communal harmony is commendable. The National Foundation for Communal Harmony was set up in the dark days of 1992 to promote two essential ingredients of our philosophy of governance. Two decades later, it is time to assess its work and to see if correctives are called for. In a mature society, both exercises have to be undertaken candidly. The background paper lists six criteria for the award. The first of these is critical in itself and for the success of the other five. It is, and I quote, for discouraging communal ill will and regional animosities and weaning the misguided elements of society from the path of violence, end of quote. The wording is significant. The focus is on discouraging and weaning rather than on prohibition and eradication. If such a mindset were to be used in the health sector, the health profile of the patient would look dismal. The harsh reality is that both communal ill will and regional animosities are diseases of the mind. They operate at the individual and the communitarian levels. They have seeped into the interstices of our society to erupt periodically while remaining dormant at other times. Often, sections of the citizen body 
are motivated by nefarious considerations driven by paranoia and an imagined otherness about other sections. Our faith is fragile. A dichotomy in approach is evident. Jahan paigam ulfat hum sunakar raks karte hain wahi nafrat ke tufani samundar raks karte hain. As citizens of India, each one of us has the right to life, to equality, to equal protection of law, and to equal share in the largest of the state as per objective norms. The Constitution enjoins us to secure fraternity. We seem to fail in this. The failure is at every level. Governments civil society, individuals. I submit for the consideration of fellow citizens that there is an imperative need to revisit the methodology by which we seek to promote societal harmony. Absence of harmony results in discord. Discord disturbs social peace. Absence of social peace impedes progress and development. Could there be a greater social sin? Should it not be placed high on the list of anti-national activities? I thank Sushil Kumar Shindeji for inviting me today. Jai Hind. पेशे से एक किसान श्री खामलियाना ने बचपन से ही अपने साहस और जज्बे का सबूत दिया अपने तजुर्बे और युवा वर्ग के साथ आपके लगातार पारस्परिक संबंध ने आपको सामाजिक एवं सांप्रदायिक सौहार्द एवं राष्ट्रीय एकता के प्रोत्साहन हेतु समाज का नेता बनने में मदद की श्री खामलियाना ऑर्गेनाइज अ हाईली सक्सेसफुल इवेंट विद द आर्मी टू प्रमोट एंड स्ट्रेंगदन रिलेशन बिटवीन द आर्मी एंड सिविलियंस ऑफ द स्टेट अ रेसिपियंट ऑफ मेनी प्रेस्टिजियस अवार्ड्स श्री खामलियाना हैज ऑल्सो पब्लिश्ड सिक्स बुक्स इन रीजनल लैंग्वेजेस कवरिंग द थीम्स ऑफ नेचुरल इंटीग्रेशन एंड कम्युनल हार्मनी एक्सेट्रा एंड हिज बुक्स इंस्पायर्स द रीडर्स टू फाइट अगेंस्ट इंसर्जेंसी एंड टू प्रमोट नेशनल यूनिटी श्री खामलियाना भद्रक के जनाब मोहम्मद अब्दुल बारी भद्रक मुस्लिम जमात के अध्यक्ष हैं एक जाने माने लीडर और क्षेत्र के सोशल एक्टिविस्ट हैं जो कि क्षेत्र में सांप्रदायिक सद्भाव कायम रखने की जानब अहम किरदार निभा रहे हैं अ फार्मर बाय प्रोफेशन जनाब बारी हैज सेल्फलेसली हेल्प्ड द पुलिस एंड लोकल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन टू मेंटेन पीस यूनिटी एंड हार्मनी इन द डिस्ट्रिक्ट एंड प्लेड अ सिग्निफिकेंट रोल इन रेस्टोरिंग पीस एंड कम्युनल हार्मनी इन भद्रक आफ्टर कम्युनल राइट्स अपना संपूर्ण जीवन शांति और सद्भावना बनाने के लिए समर्पित कर जनाब मोहम्मद अब्दुल बारी ने समाज और नई पीढ़ी के सामने एक प्रेरणादायी मिसाल कायम की है और पेश की है जनाब मोहम्मद अब्दुल बारी <laughs> 